Emily Fontaine is the global head of venture capital at IBM, and she is generous enough to sit down with us here for a few minutes out of a busy schedule, I can imagine. Extremely. Extremely <laughs> busy schedule here at Web Summit Vancouver. Yes. Thanks a lot for being here. Thanks for having me. This uh, is great. I'm thrilled to be here. So let's start with what brings you here to Web Summit and yes. some of the panel and programming yes. that you're doing on behalf of IBM here yes. in Vancouver. Well, absolutely. So. As you said, Global Head of Venture Capital, we recently launched a $500 million AI fund. We're also doing a lot of investment in quantum. We're here to find great startups, meet investors, really build a community and an ecosystem. $500 million AI fund. Talk to me a little yes. bit more about that. And, <laughs> yes. and what does that mean for the, yeah. for the person who's watching at home? Very familiar with yeah. IBM's brand, but wants to yeah. know more about where you see yeah. things going. Yeah, absolutely. So, Look, I think for us, we're really trying to drive innovation and fuel IBM strategy with our AI fund, right? We're looking at um, really interesting startups that are B2B, right? And they're deploying, they're deploying AI responsibly and at scale, right? And I think that's really, really important. We're looking at the entire stack, right? Whether it's infrastructure, whether it's hardware, whether it's applications, right? Really looking at how can we uh, partner with these these companies and bring the best solutions to our clients. Emily, right, it's huge. Yeah, Emily, there, there's so much noise yes. out there's there, so and there's much so noise. much, and there's so Every, much hype. No, but everyone says they're an AI company. Of course, like everyone. Yes, so yes. Well, it's yeah. 2025. I understand yeah. why people would say that. But yeah. how do you go about separating yeah. the signal from the noise and making sure that you're not spending too yeah. much time on what's hype and you're really drilling at for yeah. the substantive startups out there? Well, look, I think as I said, everyone says they're an AI company, but the real question becomes, like can they show you something, right? And I just said to someone today, they were like, oh, I want to pitch my company. Okay, I said, okay, great. Like, can you open your laptop right now and can you actually show me the system, right? I don't want to see something that's been programmed. I don't want to see something that's hard coded. I want to be able to feed you my data and I want you to be able to get real active results, right? That to me is someone who's really got a product that's ready to be deployed. And that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for products that are, you don't necessarily have to have revenue, right? But you've got to be able to have done a POC, you've got to have a pipeline, you've got to be something that we can go together to our global client base, right? I think that's really important. One of our key differentiators for IBM is we deploy our Capital Plus model, right? There's tons of capital out there, but for us, we differentiate ourselves by being the strategic in deals, right? We provide access, um, to our global client base, as I said, we collaborate, whether that's commercialization, right, going to market together. We do tons of due diligence to what you're referencing, right, making sure that we really deeply understand the technology, it's got a strategic fit. And then most importantly for some of our startups is we provide them mentorship, right, particularly on the quantum side, it's really important. Uh, there are so many artificial intelligence related headlines yes. that uh, without a doubt, they can be so overwhelming to the yes. average person watching at home. How do you make sure that you are staying and your team stays AI literate on the yes. current trends that are most important to focus on? Yeah, I mean, it's a fantastic question. There's always so much that's coming. And now that the agentic agent movement, and there's going to be such an ecosystem around that as well, right? So many new companies are going to pop up. It's like, of course, coming to events like this, talking to startups, learning who the competitors are, learning and talking to great founders, right, who know other founders, right? It's just making sure you've got a pulse on the ecosystem and you're bringing those back, particularly to our business units and helping to drive insights and trends, understand where capital is going because it's really important to drive our own strategy, right? We partner together with a lot of these startups to provide the best solutions to our clients. What most excites you about where all of these emerging technologies yes. are right now as you and I are having this conversation at the end of May 2025, okay. knowing this could change in just a okay, few okay. months, but for right now. Yes, okay, I'm really excited right now. Okay, this, now you're, listen, I just talked to a great quantum startup, right? So um, what I'm really excited about is as quantum evolves, right, the hardware is really strong, but it's where are we going with software? Where does AI start to intersect? Right? Can you start to build algorithms using computer vision, ML, like within quantum? Like how is AI and quantum going to play together? That's really, really exciting to me. It's super challenging, right? There are a few people who are starting to take stabs at it. It's a brand new green space, and it's really going to be, I think, over the next two to three years, a space to watch. How is Emily Fontaine from IBM personally using AI? All right, so. Um, I love a little fantasy football. In Great. fact, I'm terrible at it, but my family loves fantasy football. And so I did use it for IBM Watson X does insights on the ESPN app. And I totally use that to provide insights into 
like, what players should I pick? How well are they going to compare against each other, right? Um, and it's been, like, it was super helpful. I did not win, but I came in second place. We did go on a family trip as a result of that because winner got to choose. My husband initially picked Italy, which was like, oh, where we're going to go. However, I, um, we just went to Paris, and I convinced awesome. him that that's where really, we really we should go. So um, it was great, but like, it's incredible that the insights and trends that you can use. I think also, I mean, there's so many amazing capabilities to just check your grammar and your spelling and all that type of stuff, which I use across all my platforms, and I love it. And I have no shame in saying that. So, I mean, when in doubt, I feel like you could use artificial intelligence to tell you and your family where's best to go. Italy, you totally Paris, could. and you just totally like AI I mean, the, the choices are incredible. Though I will say, I did call my mom this morning and tell her, and this is my first time to Vancouver, I did tell her, I was like, this is like absolutely gorgeous, we have to come back. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to a trip back here too. What is so, one AI tool that you cannot live without right now? Um, Grammarly. Have you used it? Of course, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I could not live without it. I like love it. I use it all the time. That's awesome. Yeah. I'm, I'm curious, a, a, bit, a bit of a, a personal question in terms yes. of how people are actively re relating. That does or, not, or in, I mean, if it's not an investor, I will say I use that personally. Of so, course, no, yeah. but it's a great answer. I'd love to get your sense yes. on new initiatives or things yes. coming down the pike that most excite you right now. Absolutely. Um, IBM just had our big Think conference in Boston, and one of the things we announced is we were exploring a partnership between IBM Red Hat and the Massachusetts government to do an incubator um, studio. So we're very, very excited about what that means and, um, and what that partnership is going to look like. So hopefully that next year I can come and talk to you about what we've done, companies that we've incubated. So we're really excited about that. I'm curious, uh, do you say please and thank you to your AI chatbots? Of course. Yeah. Like, of I course, like, you got to. Not you know? everyone does. That's no, they don't. Wondering. They don't. And it's, it, it's going um, to get interesting how it's going to be used in the future. Yeah, so, and since yeah. You, you mentioned the future, that's, that's exactly what my last question yes, is. Yes, tell me. Where do you hope or expect that all of this incredible yes. AI-based technology brings us even just the next few years, Emily? I mean, look, I think it's about efficiency. Right, and that's what I'm really excited about, the efficiency that I don't think it's about, there's a lot of hype of, oh, AI is gonna replace humans. I mean, look, it's going to replace some jobs, but I think that's natural. I think as the evolution of technology has come over time, we've seen this, but what it's gonna do is allow people to get higher paying jobs, right? It's gonna allow us to reskill, it's gonna provide efficiency into the organizations, cost savings, like all of the things that organizations need to do to survive, right? I'm really excited about that. Emily Fontaine, Global Head yeah. of Venture Capital at IBM. Thank, thank you so you. much for joining thank us you. here at Web Summit. It's great to have you. Yeah, thank you.